watching my name is Yuli and on this channel I talk about how to introduce a little bit more self-love self-care and simplicity into our everyday life today I decided to do a kind of vlog or a day in my life um, me and my boyfriend uh, decided to take this day off and to do only those things we love while well, he took a day off and I'm currently not working so it's a little bit easy for me I feel like everyone should do this kind of days every once in a while and to open their happiness list and to see what is there and to fill your day as much as possible with things that you really really enjoy doing. Sometimes it doesn't really matter how many things are on my to-do list. Um, our self-care should always be our priority because if we don't take care about our mental and physical health. Um, we won't be able to show up for ourselves when we most need it, when we uh, face some obstacles or some difficult time. And right now everyone has a lot on their plate, including myself. I'm looking for a job right now and it's not very easy. It's already taken me a little bit longer than I expected, but that's okay. I have a wonderful family, a very supportive family and a very supportive boyfriend. Anyway. Today me and Nick decided to do this self-care day and to do only things we love to do. And of course, we don't necessarily coincide in all the things that we enjoy doing. Like when I'm thinking about my perfect self-care day, I'm thinking about uh, doing like some three or four hour hike and being in nature and waking up early. However, he's more homebody and for him a self-care day would be more spending time on the couch and playing video games, watching a movie and having lots of yummy snacks and yummy food around. However, I should say that I really, really like video games as well. But at the end of the day, it's all about compromise and it is all about healthy balance in the relationship. So Nick gladly agrees or maybe not so gladly agrees to go on hikes with me um, because he knows how much I love those hikes and also because the weather right now in Vancouver allows us to do so and it's not going to be for a very very long time we can already feel that the autumn is coming and the rain season will start shortly so we are taking we are just getting the best out of these days right now out of the sun and we kind of like when it comes to hikes we kind of divided a year into two parts i mainly get uh, autumn and summer for hikes because the weather is the best during this time for this sort of activities and he gets spring and winter for just chilling at home and watching movies and cuddling and everything but yes, so we are doing this in the first part of the day and then we are doing something that he really enjoys doing and this is watching a hockey game, preparing some yummy foods and everything and just... Oh, maybe, yes, we also wanted to watch an episode of American Horror Story. We are currently watching the season that is called Cult and we really enjoy it. I personally watched the first two seasons and then I watched the fourth one the other ones I kind of skipped because they were a little bit too gory for me but the cult I really really enjoyed so and this is all that's planned right now we are already about to start with hike and finish off with some snacks and candles and movie and some ice cream I'm taking you along with me today I really hope that you will enjoy this video so let's get started to Port Moody in British Columbia <laughs> uh, there is no one here it's currently 10 a.m. and 10 a little yeah 10 30 and 
yeah there is no one here it's a little bit chilly we can already feel that autumn is yeah. here but it's still very nice and very sunny uh we are excited for this hike sure. are you excited very very excited <laughs> So this hike is in Fort Moody, as I already said, and we are walking from Sassamat Lake to Bunsen Lake. It's going to take us about three hours to complete, and so far we really enjoy it, and I will show you the scenery along the way, and I hope you like it. It is so peaceful and so quiet. I think this is why I like morning hikes so much. Bar. Tastes healthy. Tastes healthy. <laughs> so this is the lake that we are going towards. It is Bunsen Lake. It's smaller than Sasamat Lake and you can't really see it that much. But yes, this is this is the lake. This is the destination point. And now we're just gonna walk around and head back to the car. So here we are, this is Bunsen Lake, this is where we were going towards. This is sort of the end of the hike and the first part of it took us about an hour and a half and obviously it's an hour and a half back, but I would say that the hike would take us um, probably three and a half hours to complete because we were stopping, we were making pictures and videos and we didn't rush anywhere, we were just enjoying our time. So I'd say, yeah, about three and a half hours. Mm, this is so good. Mm, this is carrot cake. No, carrot, almond, walnut, energy balls mm, covered in coconut. So yummy. My mom made them a couple days ago and this is what that's left. And here we are, uh, we are back to Sasamat Lake, it's where we started our hike. The hike is completed, officially. You happy? Uh -huh. <laughs> We've just come to the superstore to pick up a couple of things for tonight. We are excited to make some pizza. We will make a barbecue chicken for Nick and I will have a vegan pepperoni and mushroom pizza. And we will also do tomato, basil, artichoke pizza. Yummy! <laughs>
our pizza situation. Um, we have, this is Nick's pizza. It, it, it has chicken and onions, bar barbecue sauce, and some cheese on top, cheddar cheese. And this is half and half. This is the veggie pizza in general. And this, this side, Nick's side has cheese on it. And it has peppers, tomatoes, uh, jalapeno and mushrooms. And this boring looking pizza is my pizza. It has vegan ham and mushrooms and a little bit of olives on one side and it also has um, the tomato base. So we'll see how it turns out. In they go. And my boring one goes in too. Yum.